By the end of this five minute YouTube, you will know how to be more creative and innovative. How? By removing an obstacle you probably didn't know you faced. That obstacle is the Einstellung effect, where the German word means approach to, or way of doing something. It means resolving a challenge only by using approaches that have worked in similar situations, rather than looking at each new situation on its own terms. This habitual and confining tendency begins when we're faced with a challenge, an issue, problem, or opportunity. Under control of the Einstein effect, we immediately ask, how have we resolved similar challenges in the past? We quickly recall a similar challenge and how we resolved it. And now we are trapped in that we decide to resolve this one that way. By trapped, I mean that we have unwittingly locked ourselves into past solutions. On this, and subsequent challenges. We have been stung by Einstellung. We have probably closed the door on creative or innovative resolution of the current and future challenges. Like some stings, we don't immediately feel the pain. Design fixation is another name for this creativity innovation barrier, a way of saying that we have a strong tendency to unintentionally limit our range of possibilities. Call it Einstellung effect, or design fixation. Either way, we unknowingly rule out a fresh perspective. We are prisoners of the past, as nicely stated by change thinker John Maxwell. The difficulty lays not so much in developing new ideas as in escaping from the old ones. Assume we want to beat the Einstein effect because it causes us to miss out on personal and organizational benefits associated with applying creativity and innovation to technical and non-technical challenges. What can we do to beat Einstellung? The next time we want to resolve an issue, problem, or opportunity, let's do more than just the usual approach. Instead, first thoroughly define the challenge and then seek, perhaps in parallel with what has worked in the past, a creative, innovative solution. For the fresh approach, apply creativity innovation stimulation tools such as these. And these, and more, all of which are described in my most recent book. Consider two examples of how circumventing the Einstein effect, or design fixation, produced creative and innovative results. In 1905, engineer John Stevens took over the struggling construction of the Panama Canal. Contrary to traditional thinking, he saw this construction as a railroad project, not as another excavation project. His atypical approach rescued the effort and sent it to completion in 1914. Or consider this, about two million newly born babies die each year, mostly in developing countries, because the infants lack a consistent heat source. The conventional solution is to send modern and costly incubators that fail in a few years because the parts and skills needed to fix them are not available locally. Fortunately, researcher Timothy Prestero went in a completely new direction. He designed an incubator that cost less and could be maintained locally because it was assembled from readily available automobile and motorcycle parts. The risk of circumventing the Einstein effect is low because, if we have to, we can fall back on resolving the challenge the way we always did. The potential payoff is high, including the satisfaction of doing what has never been done. Want to learn more about how to overcome the Einstein effect? Then check out my book. It offers 20 methods to help you and your team be more creative and innovative. If you have broader interests, visit my website for complimentary articles and other resources. Thank you for watching and listening.